All right, guys, welcome to Reform Science Channel. I'm John Rodriguez, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about tripods. Now, you guys know I made a video about five years ago on a uh, my first carbon tripod. Uh, it's still around, still here. I mean, it's taking a beating, and um, I really don't have nothing bad to say about this tripod. I mean, it's pretty beat up, but I had to put, you know, it, it served this purpose and um, for the last couple of years I've been wanting to do I wanted to update right um, different tripod styles and different uh, technology has come through so I started doing my research and when you're looking in the world of precision rifle or hunting or anything that has to do with tripods and a rifle being attached to it you're gonna run across really right stuff right so that tripod company makes phenomenal tripods but at a premium price all right so i'm trying to give you guys a more budget friendly option there's a couple companies out there that have their tripods made overseas in china um they bring them over you know they they kind of brand it they kind of contact the company that makes tripods over there they um they brand it and then they bring it over um at a, of course at a uh, premium price as well all right one of those companies I'm gonna go with uh, vortex vortex 100% sure does that and their tripods are about close to eight hundred to a thousand dollars that for me is too much for one of these same tripods that you can get that does not have the vortex logo identical for 300 bucks 400 bucks just for the tripod all right guys so um, in my research I came across this company called Sunway photo um, very known uh, company yes they are made overseas um, but you're gonna have warranty um, they communicate very well they have social media pages uh, so you can you know contact them and if you have any issues they can address warranty stuff and uh, and all of that so they have two models that I would consider looking at when it comes to the you know the shooting and tripod world uh, they have this model of course which is the uh, t3640 cm now 36 stands for the upper diameter of the upper tube 36 mil um, and then the 40 is for four segments right you gotta have one segment two segment three segment and four segments they also have a 50 which is a five segment and it's 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 all on preference, right? Um, I would rather have less segments. I honestly wish this was a three segment tripod. Um, when you add segments, the diameter of the tubes in between have to get progressively smaller and smaller and smaller. Now, what you don't want is the bottom diameter of the tripod to be super super thin. Um, this is probably about the thinnest I would go which is about I don't know I'll say like about 20 um, about 22 mils something like that or I'm sorry 22 um, yeah millimeters that's about the thinnest I would go this tripod when it's fully extended like that and you start putting some weight on it you can see it flexes a little bit and when you have the tripod opened up and you have all the weight on the little legs I try to keep this leg um, the bottom segment as close as possible for it to give me you know the thicker tubes for more stability so they make another uh, cool option you know that comes in like a kind of oldie green head and oldie green features if that's something you want they make a uh, t32 um, I believe it's a 40 cm or something like that that is a hunter's tripod I will put it up here um, you guys can just YouTube videos there's a bunch of youtubers that have made a bunch of videos on them kind of the same system um, with a little bit uh, lighter for hunters and it's not a bad tripod but when I was looking for a tripod um, I didn't want a 32 mil top tube because I've had a 32 mil top tube I wanted something that was 34 and above um, for a while there the big craze was a 40 mil tube on top and those tripods became way big way too bulky and they started to slim back down so 
this tripod setup, the way it's set up, I would say it's very comparable to the Really Right Stuff Versa Mark II's uh, way it looks like the options you get, you know, the the um, the angles you can go up to on the legs, the way they hook, the way everything goes, and I know that a really popular system right now on the PRS is the Anvil 30. Uh, the Anvil 30, uh, Sunway Photo does have a variation of that that you can use, um, but I decided to go with the IB, the IB40. Uh, they also have another one that's a little bit heavier duty than this. It's the IB65, I believe, or 60. And um, I thought, you know, uh, I'll try the 40. The 40 has the, so the friction, it can hold up to 55 pounds. So that's plenty for what I'm doing nowadays. Um, and it, you know, it just gives me that option. Now, what I like about this particular head, the IB40, is that it comes with Arca rail or Picatinny adapter, right? So I can put an Arca rail on there, or let's just say, hey, you know, I don't want to go out and buy an Arca adapter for every single rifle. And I can just get a regular pick rail, slap it on there, lock it down. And now I have now I have it attached to the pick rail, so it gives you that option. I thought that was cool versatility. You know, not everybody has Arca systems, so um, I'm able to use this tripod in a whole different array of of ways. All right, so So as you can see, the Arca system works just the same, um, and it's not a bad way to go. Um, I would check out Sunway Photo guys; they make good stuff. Um, and I'm gonna be putting this tri tripod through the paces. Um, as you can see, um, I beat them up pretty well. Um, I'm gonna try to keep this one as good looking as possible, and not spray paint it, not go crazy. Um, just, I mean, it's a great looking tripod. I have a tri tripod fetish so uh, but as you can see right you can literally I'm left-handed so set up for lefties you could spin the ball around I can literally get on target move it where I want to go lock it down all right get on there boom all right so when you guys are looking for a tripod just try to keep thicker tubes on the legs um, get uh, things that hold like the tripod doesn't have to hold them a certain like a crazy amount of weight but the ball head has to hold quite a bit you know this one's 55 pounds I believe this one's upper in the 75 80 pounds um and it gives you that option so and it's also gonna give you longevity right um if you get something that holds you know let's say you have a you know you're a hunter and you have a rifle that holds that weighs um i don't know let's say six to eight pounds then you're like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll just get a ball head that holds 40 pounds because they're $30 on Amazon or whatever. That ball head under recoil and under that stress, it's going to fail and you're just going to have, basically, you're going to end up with this. Just a head that you're going to have to hold. You're not going to have any st stability. So I would recommend to go 45 pounds and above. Um, I know that the really right stuff anvil holds like 30 pounds, but they have a whole different system. I haven't seen any of those fail. Um, and the Sunway Photo is a has this one, which is 55, and they have something that's similar to the Anvil that I believe is the IB30, and that holds about 35 pounds. Um, I would still go with that one. Um, and the price, guys, this this is half the price of a really right stuff, right? Because like this same setup for really right stuff would probably cost you about 1,400 bucks, 14 ish, you know, and any, any, anywhere in the upper 1,200s to the uh, lower 14s and this setup right here on Amazon you could buy it. it's probably about uh, the tripods about 540 550 and the uh, ball heads about five uh, 160 ish 140 so probably about you're all in about under 100 uh, 750 bucks and you're gonna get something that has a warranty um, has many different options and it has it's very um, 
you can put different components on it. You don't have to stay, you know, let's say you want a different ball head. Um, you just find something that fits the bowl and you're fine. And you have, it comes in a really nice, really nice carrying case. If that's something you're into, I, I don't, I'm, I'm probably never gonna use a carrying case. It comes with a, a, bowl, a bowl adapter. So you put the, the leveling head on here that comes with the stick and you can tighten and pressure from here. That was something that was really big, really right stuff introduced that, I don't know, I would say probably like in the early, uh, early 2015-ish. And then um, this is the system before where you just put this, put a regular uh, ball head on there and then uh, just use that as a ball head platform. So it comes with um, you know two different systems that you can use. Uh, this system is of course different and um, it drops right in, it's made for that. So cool things guys. So I'm gonna be running this tripod through the paces. Uh, just so you guys know, I know I haven't made a video in a while and um, getting back into the, the groove of things, work is slowing down and stuff like that. And as you can see, um, I have this new optic I'm testing. Uh, probably one of the next reviews you guys are gonna see. I'm gonna put it through those paces and then I'm gonna let you guys know how it is. All right guys, so thank you for watching and um, I'll see you guys at the range.